Chicago Bulls guard Chris Dunn, left, celebrates with Denzel Valentine after the Chicago Bulls defeated the Utah Jazz 103-100 in an NBA basketball game Wednesday, December 13, 2017, in Chicago, AP photo slash nom y. Huh, Chicago, Nikola Mirotic is smiling again. The shots are falling. All the weightlifting work he did in the summer is paying off. The Chicago Bulls are winning. That infamous practice fight is beginning to fade into the background. Mirotic scored 29 points, Chris Dunn hit a clutch jumper with 22 seconds left and the Bulls beat the Utah Jazz 103-100 on Wednesday night for their fourth straight victory. I think right now, Nico has brought a confidence to this team, coach Fred Hoiberg said. Mirotic made 11 of 18 shots from the field and grabbed 9 rebounds Indiana his best performance since he returned last week after missing the start of the season with facial fractures. The 6-foot-10 forward got hurt in a fight with teammate Bobby Portis, throwing the future of both players in question, but the Bulls are perfect since Mirotic returned to the court. We are enjoying playing the basketball together, Mirotic said. You can see good chemistry. The guys on the bench, they are all yelling, they've been happy. So I think after, what, we all get through, this team deserves it. Robin Lopez added 16 points for Chicago, 7-20, and Dunn finished with 13 points, 8 assists and 7 rebounds. Portis scored each of his 9 points in the fourth after he got off to a slow start. Donovan Mitchell led Utah with 32 points on 15 for 26 shooting, but the Jazz, 13-15, dropped their fourth straight game. Rodney Hood scored 15 points after missing the previous seven games with left ankle soreness. We've got to play better on the defensive end, Coach Quinn Snyder said. We've been here before, as far as the ball not going in. We have to be more stingy. We didn't have that tonight. Dunn was 6 for 18 from the field but he made a couple of big plays down the stretch. He connected with 139 to go to make it 98 to 94 Bulls. After Mitchell responded with a driving layup, Dunn made a step back jumper over Alec Burks to restore the Bulls' four point advantage. I believe in my game, Dunn said. The coaching staff believes in me, my teammates do. There's going to be times where there's going to be bad games. I understand that, but I am going to keep fighting. Dunn, David Mwaba and Justin Holliday each missed a foul shot in the final seconds, giving Utah one more chance. But Mitchell missed a running three-point try as time expired. I rushed it, Mitchell said. I should have shot it with two hands, first of all. I should have shot it like a regular pull-up. Ricky Rubio added 14 points for Utah which has dropped the first two on a six-game road trip. Burks finished with 13 points. We can't do it in spurts, Hood said. If we can't sustain it over 48 minutes, we're not going to win. Utah trailed by as many 12 in the second quarter, but closed the half with a 17-6 run and kept up its solid play at the start of the third. Jonas Jarebko's reverse layup with 7.06 left gave the Jazz a 63-58 lead, leading to a timeout by the Bulls. Tip-ins.